Welcome back, you guys! This is Tessindra. Continuing my EU4 campaign as Gujarat. And we're at war with Jenegar. And we're technically losing the war, but it's not that bad. I mean, we've gotten rid of one of his allies. We even took a province from his ally. We took a fort. And we've lost Bachmanis' capital again. Well, we gotta take that back. Uh, maybe? How do I want to do this? Um, I kind of want to kill this this guy here. He only has the single province, right? If I check him. He only has one province. And he's not a vassal. He's just an ally. Um, If I were to beeline it for this thing here, I could get him out of the war. Maybe. But let's see. The war goal was cool. Like, Chow. So I'm gonna grab this, and then we're gonna go back and take the war goal. That's gonna should flip the war score quite a bit here. And let's go into Thata if we can. I'm gonna try to chase those guys down. Okay, take the war goal. Take it the war goal. Reigns fail in Gerd. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, let's see. Where are you going after this one, then, my friend? Where are you going to flee? I'm going to catch you in Jezlemir. So let's wait until he's locked. And he's dead. Good, good, good. There's the two stack left there. But uh, we can probably swipe them out as well. Stack wipe? No? No stack wipe? Ah, there we go. Stack wipe. So you're going to go to Kyrpur, and you're going to get stack wiped as well. Okay, so I took the war goal. Let's go all the way down here and then into this fort. I'm gonna try to... Ah, oh, there's another fort here defending them. That's annoying. Well, blockade. I will, I'll spend some admin to get rid of that. Okay, let's see. Split, split, and split. So we do one, two, three, four. There we go. Let's just take all the provinces immediately. And yeah. And they're taking some provinces from me. And they're seizing down all of Bachmanas' uh, forts. Which does not hurt me at all. Because it's Bachmanas, it's not me. It might hurt him. I mean, quite a lot, actually. Tech. Diplotech 13. Trade efficiency. Is there any reason why I shouldn't take this? Not that I can see. And we are now ahead of time, and we got trade efficiency and yearly corruption. Thank you. Nice. We're actually losing corruption now. And we're not paying for that. Yeah. How is the manpower for them? More enemies. Yeah, they're murking up like crazy. I don't know how much cash he has, but... Okay, so they're taking the war goal back. Let's just regroup, and we'll send our army. I kind of want to cut off my land here from the rest of them. Like, the forts are enough to stop them from moving. But I'm going to focus my effort over here to try to uh, hurt them as much as possible. So, yeah, I'm going to take this idea. Yearly armor tradition, that's fine. Is it actually decaying? Yeah, it is, technically. Provincial trade power modifier. Did I miss that? Ooh, that's a good one. So, yeah, I'm going to break this wall. And I can't, actually. Uh, okay. I guess we'll just wait and siege it normally, then. Okay, go down here. Let's just try to get the war goal back. Spread of extreme practices in their that place. Yeah, give me legalism. Mm -hmm. I think after I take this fort, I will just take the Jenigar's capital. That is going to hurt him quite a bit, because I only want technically these three provinces. I just wanted to hurt the Jenigar with an initial war. Subject is tired of war. I sent him 200 ducats and he loses 10 war exhaustion. How much do you have? 12. Okay, so most of it will be gone then. 
That's nice. That's very cheap. I will take a loan, but that's fine. Take the war goal, and once we take the fort, maybe we can peace out. Maybe. And we got a wall breach. Nice. So, call of Thunad. Ooh, we got a revolt. And Vijanagar is gonna kill that for me. <laughs> Thank you, Vijanagar. You gotta love them being so helpful, right? Should I try to siege this down, or should I just sit here on the war goal? If I sit on the war goal, I'm gonna take attrition. Can't actually support this. Um. Thing is, if I go here. I'm gonna wait until this guy is locked to moving away. Let's see if I can actually get this fight in. They did have the better terrain there. So we took the siege there. I can't move up. Oh, that's bullshit. I gotta take the other one as well. Oh well. Let's flee. So he was able to reinforce that fight, but we did kill a whole bunch of his dudes. Which is very, very good. He could actually try to swarm me right now. Maybe I should run? Maybe. I'm not in a good terrain as well. It's just farmlands. Maybe if I flee to the, uh, the fort? If I just go here and hide until my guys come back, how much time do you need? Uh, just like three months and then you'll be fine. Let's go back down here. Come at me, bro. Come at me. They are very sick of this war, it seems. <laughs> Their war enthusiasm is quite low. Okay, take uh, the war go. Oh, you're running away before? Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and stack wipe this guy. <laughs> can I stack wipe him before you get there? Probably not. Let's see if I can get my reinforcements there. I think I will win this fight regardless, but just in case. That's fine. Go back in. Yeah, I'm, a lot of my men are just mercenaries, and I will take loans if I have to recover from that. I'm guessing he's doing the same, I'm guessing he has a bunch of loans, but I just don't remember how to check out his loan situation. Okay, shall we try one more fort? There we go. Just try to take one more fort from him. I think I will pay to break this one then. If I can take this one and then I can take his capital, I think that's enough to win this war. I, I know he has a whole bunch of forts from... Um, from uh, Bahmanis, but that's fine. So I did not want to convert you, but I want to convert everything else here. Wait, let me see here. 79, yeah, we want to get it up to 100. Let's give you a general since the other one is dead. And let's actually move this one over so you get the general. The seeds pip. It's got two seeds pips. So, yeah, it's positive 7% right now. You're attacking Bachmanis. That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, admin 12. Yeah, I think I will. No more states. Nice. Very, very nice. Morocco has internal conflict. Wow, I'm glad I got that information. Um. Yeah, let's just take this fort and hope that's enough. If not, I will take your capital next. There we go, 21%. We're up to 6. He's willing to peace out, but I want this. I need 20 for that. 
I need 10 war scores, so the 1,000 will go away. And demands exceed war score will go away as well. So it's the uh, 1,100 will go away. So he'll be at negative 37, which is quite easy to get, I think. It's, it's eight, 8 more opinion, or 8 more uh, factor, I suppose. And I think, I think the capital will be enough, I hope. And I'm also getting ticking war score. I can get 23 more. Private contractors. I'll get the corruption. Alright. And this time around I will defend you. And now I'm gonna attack you. I took your fort. I took your capital, dude. <laughs> Are we gonna win this fight? I don't think I can get my reinforcements there in time. Go here and then up. We might win this. Yeah, we actually won that fight. Alright, he's willing to give me what I want. Yeah, I can actually get more than I need here. So, let's do some reconquest from Bachmanas' point of view. So if I do return core... No, 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 we'll do them the ones that are next to him. Yeah, this one? What is this one's name? Shul. Oh, they won't accept that. We'll take one, and then we can just do this again later. All right. What? No, this should belong to me. Uh, Seas land. Dub, dub hole. Yeah, I know it's gonna piss you off, but I need that. Okay, you go here, and one of you stay somewhere where I have supply. Any supply? There we go. Okay, so my mission is fulfilled. Konkani Pirates. I get claims on Ahmed Nagar and Desh. And growth of Surat is already finished because I did upgrade the center of trade there. And we get permanent claims on a whole bunch of shit. Oh, I got claims on this stuff over here. Really? I can... Uh, that's that's very very interesting and I got claims on the islands over here. I got permanent claims on all of this So I got dash area And um, is this just a normal claim? No, yeah, it's a normal claim That's very very interesting. I got claims like in the Gulf of Aden we can go after that at some point, but I would need transport ships, so I can't really. Okay. So we did get a lot of war exhaustion there. And we're sort of in a lot of debt right now. Let's see, how many mercenaries are here? It's 21. It's basically just mercenaries and then some elephants. And cannons. Alright. Well, that's going to be expensive to maintain, but we at least won our war against Vijayanagar, and we got the things we needed for the mission then. Uh, let's see, we're spending 13 ducats on this, and we're losing 0.6. So yeah, once we finish reinforcing our units, they will be fine. And you have very high liberty desire. I think I'll just placate you. It gets you loyal. Yeah, there we go. I don't know why this went to you. I guess you did have a core on it, but I wanted it for myself. And I didn't notice that it had actually fallen to you. Which is weird. So, coring. I don't want to spend points on this. And I kind of want to save as much admin as I can. So I will just wait with coring this for a while. My corruption is growing. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Marwar has risen up. 
And then you just go back down here once you're done with that. Shift consolidate. All right, all right. So next in line would be what? I think it got to be Delhi or Jampur, right? We have so many separatists over here. It's ridiculous. War exhaustion, overextension, and religious unity. Yeah. The war exhaustion will go down. I could pay for it to go down. I am five years ahead. I think it gonna it's gonna make it so less painful. It's 150 points. It's fine. You lost your general. Give me another general. Ooh, a 5-2. Bach Bachmanis wants to become a march. I don't want that. I'm sorry. I want you to stay what you are. My bitch. More exhaustion, overextension. Yeah. And now we can go ahead and just core this. Well, we don't have the admin for that. The end of internal conflicts in Morocco. Well, congratulations. And the Sultana has just died. All right. Let's put it on speed form. We gotta get some separatists to pop up so we can just butcher them. Yeah, we'll take the marriage. Ooh, our new Sultana is better than our current ruler. Delhi is about to attack Yimla. Interesting. So I'm still spec'd into admin and I got a pl I got a th level three advisor there uh-huh let me just go back all right so recording everything and we're just sort of on separatist butchering duty right now these guys popped on top of a fort which means I have all the time in the world to hurt you and we lost some claims against Andhra and Ratampur. That's fine. Let's go ahead and make this territory into a state. And we can make a few more. This one I don't want. Bangladesh, Yes, it's part of my main node. Andhra. Mahran. And this one. Yeah, I think I will make you Bundelkant. And now I don't have any more states. Now. Nah. It's fine. Anything special I should core first? Not that I can see. I guess I'll just take it by the cost. I don't know. I actually don't know. We'll start at the bottom, make it too easy. How long until I can get my next reform? What happens once we're done with these reforms? Like, I mean, it's, yeah, it's been a hundred years, but we're almost done with them. Is that supposed to happen? Are you supposed to be done with this so quickly? Or is there got to be like a, something else coming after this? Because so far it's been very, very easy. Ooh, half-priced philosopher. Uh, no, I don't want that. Just give me this. 50 admin, thank you. I can core more stuff then. Uh, like, there's also a new thing in Dharma about setting the colonists to promote growth in like low development provinces. But I haven't really seen a need to go for any um, settlers, uh, colonists. None whatsoever. But I guess it's a good idea if you are going to colonize at some point and then you run out of places to colonize. But... Yeah. So far it's not going to be an issue. Defender of the faith. <laughs> I don't want to be defender of the faith. I want to change faiths. It looks like some Shia Salads are upset. Ahmadabad. In my capital? Why are they upset? Circulation of hostile publications. So they rose up in Jezlmir. Just go kill that and come back. Huh. Are you going to get there before they take the province? It looks like you will. Also, I think I did put on 
a state edict. Um, let's see. Enforce the unity. Local manpower. I can turn that one off. And this one is defense edict. I want to put this into protect trade. Yeah. Let's see. I have four loans. Uh, it's going to cost me quite a bit to get that. Uh, let's see here. Mercantilism, always mercantilism. Trading in cotton. Global settler increase. <laughs> really? We have that. Interesting. So we actually have the, the uh, settler increase for having cotton as Gujarat. Ooh, what is this mission? Ooh, textile. So we finished building our four uh, textile manufacturers. So trade efficiency and goods produced goes up for 20 years. And then we need uh, a mill in Ahmadabad, which is not going to happen for uh, it's admin tech 16. Once we're done with that, we can finally do this Bankers of Cambry. Uh, we need to have if at least six. Ah, if all owned by the Jains. So the Jains need to have six provinces and their loyalty needs to be 70 or greater. Uh, so for 20 years I get 50 trade power in my main node. Um, Diplotech 18. Alright. You guys go ahead and chase these guys down and then come back. Growth of the administration. Let's go ahead and pause it right here. Um, I lose mercant mercantilism. The other option is to lose loyalty by the emirs and the olima. I'll take the one mercantilism hit. Fuck, that's not good. But anyway, so uh, we are expanding and we got some weird missions to go into the Gulf of Aden to get some stuff there. I mean, I can understand that. A lot of this trade, I can have it flow into Aden instead. So instead of going up into uh, Hormuz, we can have it all flow into the Gulf of Aden. But if I start moving into Hormuz, it doesn't go anywhere. It only goes up to the Basra trade node. So, yeah, I can understand that, like skipping Hormuz and going for Gulf of Aden. But that requires ships, and I don't have the cash for that right now. But we'll just see what happens. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. But, until then, see ya. And thanks for watching.